you're looking for another way to kind of do science experiments at home or maybe even for your class, Danielle Miller is back with a new easy science experiment. This week's topic is air pressure. We are back with another experiment. Today we are talking all about air pressure. And there is one fundamental thing that you need to know when doing this experiment. Air always wants to move from high pressure to low pressure. It's something that we need to know in meteorology and it helps us forecast for you guys at home every day. And it's gonna help us with this experiment. Now the goal of this experiment is going to be to get this egg inside of the bottle without touching it, without shoving it in there. There's three things you need. First, some hard boiled eggs with the skin or the shell peeled off of it. You're gonna need a glass jar with a tapered top so the egg can sit on top. And finally, you're going to need some matches. Now let's do the experiment. So what you're going to do is take one of your matches and you're going to light it. As soon as you light it, you want to drop it in the jar and quickly cover it with a hard boiled egg. And then you're going to watch the egg. You may notice the egg starting to shake a little bit. And then all of a sudden, once the flame goes out, the egg goes into the jar. Now, what happened? Why did this happen here without us pushing it in? Well, when we lit the match and put it in the jar and then closed it off, all the air in the jar started to heat up. You might have noticed the egg shaking around a little bit too. As the air heated up, it expands and some of it started to escape out of the jar. Once the match went out and the flame went away, the air inside the jar started to cool down. When air cools, it compresses and gets smaller. So we created an area of low pressure in the jar. Creating that area of low pressure, we know air always wants to move from high to low. So air from the outside got sucked into the jar and with it, they took the egg. Let me know if you did this experiment or if there's any other science topics that you want to see covered. For now, I'm meteorologist Danielle Miller.